just got done at the gym and we're heading to the old house. I look rough. I really do. We're heading to the old house. I forgot to tell you guys, I found my wedding rings. I never told yeah, them that. I was gonna say, John I, I found the wedding him. rings um, right before Christmas. I haven't been inside the house um, in months. So I'm gonna, I think I can go in now. I really do think I can go in. So I'm gonna go in and um, try and find a couple of things because we're about to be done with it completely. It's going to, construction's yep. gonna start. So that's exciting. I don't know if that's I mean, exciting is the right word. Pretty much it's the end of a- Really weird. Because it's still hanging over everybody's head. It's not like it's done with, but it's a start to closing that chapter. Yep. And then finding our forever home somewhere. Yeah, and pretty much what we're doing is last sweep of anything. Anything. That we think. I feel a little sad, honestly. I just feel a little sad because I'm like. And that's normal. I mean, it's yeah. it's normal because that was. Our life. Yeah, and now it's like, it was kind of taken away. Mm -hmm. Like, not in a dramatic it sense, but you know, it in a dramatic sense. But, you know, it you start over. Like, that's kind of. And we did. Yeah. And we're happy but I don't know I haven't been in this house in months I try never to come here never and, and I've been back a few times like to grab stuff out of the garage that we need things like that um, but that's pretty much all that's left really is the stuff in the garage nothing else in the house is really salvageable yeah I so I'll show you guys the inside of the house it's been a while and it probably still looks the same but it's been a while yeah and we've had like restoration Oh yeah, lots of people have come in and out to, yeah. like, just to like, you know. And even looking at her stuff to try to salvage it and they said, you know, it's kind of just not even. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. No, no. It's material. Yep. Oh. Man. Yeah, that doesn't get any easier. Ella's yearbook. It's my last goodbye to this house. The window that started it all. Yeah, I'm done. Just had a really nice conversation with the local Jehovah Witnesses. I hope I said that right. They walk through our neighborhood pretty often and they're so nice. <laughs> and she shared a lovely scripture with me and then we parted ways. Her husband was nice too. That's the first time I met him. I met her mom last time. <laughs> I just like talking to nice people. And it was nice after the experience of being at the house, the old house, yeah. to have like some positive, you know what I mean? Like a positive interaction. Um, a lot of questions I've been getting is like, how much weight have I lost? I'm not going to weigh again on this channel until my six week course, or not course, but six week challenge is over. Um, but I've lost about 35 pounds and I'm really happy with that. I always have to uh, psych myself up for these shots. Well, I mean, is it really fun getting stabbed? It doesn't hurt. It's more like, how am I going to feel later? Yeah. And how am I going to feel tomorrow? It's really important um, for me to eat a good amount of protein or have a protein shake before I take it. Before I take a shot. Um, I just feel like it helps me a little bit more. Whoa. Aha. Felt that. <laughs> and that's that. Another week. Do you need a drink? Thank you. I'll get you some. Also, today is the day that John and I, 11 years ago today, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Here they are. Um, right before Christmas, John is the one that goes back to the house and filters through things. And he was checking one of the purses in the back and you dumped it out and you found them, right? So 
purse hanging on the closet door. Usually I opened it, looked like trash in it, but I'm like, I'm looking for these wedding rings. Let me go ahead and dump everything out. So I dumped it out on the old couch that was sitting there. And lo and behold, there was two rings in it, which were her wedding rings. So I took them out and I was doing some other work. So I put them in my pocket. Well, I go to leave and I'm like, oh, let me take the rings out of my pocket. There's only one ring in there and there's a hole in that pocket. So I come home. He was crying. Yeah. Well, because it's sad. It's like you find something, you're, you're like, yes, the one thing we were worried about finding, we find it. And then I was like, well, I'll pick up L and I'll go back. So I picked up L. I went back. And at our front door, um, for those that have been around, our hallway, we used to have blocked off because we kept the dogs separated from Ev until they got used to each other a little more. Mm -hmm. um, now we're not worried about it. Yeah. That gate was near the front door. Uh, thrown on the ground because they had to get back and spray everything and do all that so uh, i walk in and i turn on the headlamp and i see something shiny right near the door and i'm like eh, it's probably just the gate and kept going looked didn't see it and then i was like well let me check at that gate one more time and it landed straight up and down with the diamond on top and that's how i found it, it was just by luck that it landed straight up and down and yeah that's how i found them luckily Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was luck. No, it's definitely a feel, it feels like home. It's yeah, just, well, it, oh, yeah. Oh, wants more cereal. Let me help it. So mm. I'm officially a married woman again. Love that for me. I'm not. <laughs> you guys, it has been like nine days since we filmed that. And since um, the whole family has had COVID and now we're better. So it's been a wild ride these last nine or 10 days. And I just feel so like I haven't put a video out in so long. And I remember that day we went to the house, we both felt like shit <laughs> after the workout. Like I was super clammy and I just didn't feel good. And a couple days later, like we all came down with COVID. So it makes sense looking back at it now. I'm like, oh yeah, we did not feel good but everybody everybody's doing good i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little check-in and tell you that i found my wedding rings i actually had that filmed when we made christmas cookies because john found them the day before we made christmas cookies and it just i i don't know if i forgot to put the footage in the vlog or what and i wanted to share that with you guys because finding my wedding rings was literally the it was it, ugh. I just felt so much better so now they're in a really safe place i had them in the purse that i had in um, when we went out, like I went out with one of my girlfriends and when I came home, I'm the worst with jewelry. I'm so careless and I just stuck them in my purse. Thank God, honestly. So I'm really, really, really thankful that John found them. Things that are going on in our neck of the woods, uh, other than us being sick and like the kids going down, everybody was sick. It was horrible. I still don't have my sense of taste or smell. So that's been fun. Don't love that for me. It does aid in uh, the weight loss though. I am officially down 45 pounds. I lost another 10 pounds in the last 10 days, which is wild, but I was sick. So I feel like I'm, a, I'm attributing that to being ill, <laughs> uh, but we're back into the swing of thing, back into life today. And I'm feeling so much better. I'm so glad that we had a milder time with this sickness. Everett is turning two in a couple of weeks and I already know I'm, we're going to his two year well checkup. I think it's next week. I gotta double check on that one. But I already know we're gonna have to start getting into the swing of probably starting speech therapy and maybe some evaluations. I don't wanna like make some big announcement and say like Ev has autism, but there's definitely a speech delay there. And I know we're gearing up uh, to start at the very bare minimum some speech therapy. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not gonna make like a huge dedicated video. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't even gonna address it, but it has definitely been on my mind the last couple of weeks. I'm like, mm. we're, we've reached a lot of milestones, but there's some things that we're still not there yet. And with Elle, I was, um, I buried my head in the sand with her for an extra year past her second birthday and I just refused to do that with Ev. So I feel like my, it can't hurt. So that's kind of what I've been preparing myself for because I remember when that whole phase of life started with Ella, it was like a lot of doctor's appointments and evaluations and stuff like that. And I still, I could be jumping the gun here and still that won't be the case after we go to his doctor's appointment. But I um, feel very much that it's going to be the case as far as 
like starting the whole speech therapy grind and him starting school hopefully june is when we have we're on a waiting list so we're kind of waiting for a spot to open up in daycare i think that'll be super beneficial to him he's a pandemic baby uh we don't have a ton of kid friends we have a few and we actually went on a play date this morning with his friend Rev and it was really fun and he had a good time. It was nice to get out of the house and like not be trapped inside like we have been for the last 10 days. And I'm gonna really try harder to start documenting and vlogging again. I don't know why, but it's just been so daunting to me. Probably just because we've had a lot going on and I just don't ever feel like my life is exciting enough to share. And I, I don't know, I just, I really did wanna share that we found the wedding rings though, cause I almost skipped it again. I was, I we were just sick and going about life. And I was like, I have to tell them we found our freaking wedding rings. I found my wedding rings. I'm so excited about it. <sighs> so that is like what life has been like in the Brazy house. We survived illness. That was rough. We haven't been sick in years. Um, I do attribute a lot of my well being to whatever this stuff is that I took this bow iron Ostacillium things. I started taking this the day elephant we found out she was sick and I swear to you I feel so much better like I don't feel bad at all now. So yeah, yeah, yeah Everybody's doing well. We're all in really good health and we've just been busy like getting back to normal life. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update date I know you see me on reels, but you don't ever see me here anymore. So everybody is doing really good Everybody is safe and healthy and happy for the most part. And we will see you guys so soon. I promise. I super promise. Bye.